guys so just got the um, oil pan installed with the um, 10 an drain line fitting well to it and uh, getting ready to um, pull off the intake manifold or the top section of the intake manifold so I can install my um, 36 pound fuel injectors I uh, got everything else back up here installed did a little um, zip tying also replaced my um, return line for my power steering because that was leaking and um, over on this side I've got to do some slight modifications to the chassis of the car had to sink this in um, did that a while back and also have to sink right here in because um, my exhaust manifold has a slight angle and again it's kind of hard to get these things perfect so what I have to do is sink this section right here in just a little bit so I can get the um, bolt for or the last bolt for the down pipe on which is right over here so this one right here is coming pretty close and um, also have to make a notch right here and then underneath here on the other side I have to make another notch and then fold this lip down because it comes really close to the exhaust manifold so I just wanted to make sure that I have the little extra bit of clearance so that when the engine tilts then I have enough clearance down there but for the most part everything's looking pretty good um, just back there I have to um, install the T fittings for um, the cool lines to the turbo um, so by tomorrow I should actually have the car cranked up and running so uh, get ready for that guys um, got everything back up here installed um, got my little fitting for the oil feed from the oil filter base and I'm about to pull off the top section of the intake manifold so that I can um, install the 36 pound injectors that I have. Got the uh, intake manifold off. Pretty simple. Um, there's a few bolts over here. You have to pull off the throttle body. Four bolts for the throttle body. Um, there's a little hose that goes underneath. Basically right there. This little hose goes underneath. You gotta pull that off. Then you just basically fold this together and the top section of the intake manifold can be removed. So, now that I have that off, I have easy access to um, my injectors, which just need a 10. Pocket. And for me, I already changed the um, my intake manifold gasket, and it's still in good condition because I didn't do anything to actually damage it. Um, so I can uh, remove the fuel rail now. Gonna disconnect the uh, fuel line so I can properly get the fuel rail off and then install the 36 pound injectors. Okay, so I just removed the um, fuel line, so now there's these little clips that um, you have to remove. And these hold the injectors in place. Another good tip is to um, stuff some paper inside the uh, intake manifold, but I've been doing this for a pretty long time, so pretty good at doing this without getting anything or dropping anything actually into the intake manifold, so not going to really worry about it too much. Um, next thing, just have to remove these clips 
from the um, injectors so you can release the connection for um, the electrical connection for the injectors. I thought I'd give you guys a pretty cool shot of what it looks like inside. So you can actually see the intake valves from here. Kind of cool. Alright, so I got the little clips removed, so basically you can just wiggle the injector a bit and get them out. I'm and they just pop right up. and that's pretty much it so goodbye stock e30 m42 injectors and time to install the 36 pound injectors okay, i wanted to show you guys a quick view of the difference between these two injectors one of the main things that's um, different with these two injectors as you guys can see the um, stock injectors only have a single pinhole and the 36 pound injectors that I got have four. So again, it basically just gives it a little bit better atomization of the fuel. All right, so here's the issue that I'm having. Basically, stock fuel injectors And the ones from Fuel Injector Clinic. So as you can see, they're the same length minus this little piece, which doesn't really matter. But the top ones don't have the circular notch that goes all the way around that holds the fuel injector into the fuel rail. And the issue is the way that they made the intake manifold there's a lot of space so the fuel injector can slide all the way down there and that's the whole reason why they actually made the clip to hold the fuel injector into the fuel rail. So I'll show you. Let's see this little piece that even has a base pretty much to even stop the fuel injector for the most part and it can't go any further so now with the ones from fuel injector clinic Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Oh, yeah, I can just use the fuel rail. And the fuel rail will hold it down. But as you can kind of see that... The one from Fuel Injector Clinic... Actually, let me get something better. So, that's from the base of the intake manifold. to the fuel injector top. First line is where fuel injector clinic's injector sits. The second line is where the stock injector sits. It sits much lower so when you install the fuel rail and I will do that now then it doesn't actually sit properly over the fuel injector to properly seal it. All right, so notice how this doesn't hold the fuel injector in place and that's the reason why BMW created that clip to hold down the fuel injector because when I tighten this down then the fuel injector doesn't do anything. So that's why they made the clip so the fuel injector can actually slide up into the fuel rail and be held in place. 
So that's the issue that I'm having. All right, guys. So got the issue that I was having sorted out. Um, basically, I had to just um, make a cut into, or I had my fabricator make a cut into the injectors um, to fit this clip in right here. And now we're all set. So I'm going to reinstall this and start getting stuff started back out on the car so I can um, start it up today. But that's it. Just drop in. And there we go.